Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. From this small drop of sun grew a magic flower. It was said that this flower had the power to heal the sick and the injured. And when the queen, who was to have a baby, became very ill, she drank a broth made from this flower and was healed. A healthy baby girl, a princess, was born with beautiful golden hair that also held the magical power. But someone wanted that magic for herself. A vengeful old woman named Mother Gothel. She stole the princess and locked her away in a hidden tower deep in the forest, where she raised the child as her own. The healing power of the child's hair had restored Gothel's youth and beauty. But inside, Mother Gothel remained possessive and cruel. So she told Rapunzel the outside world was a dangerous place, filled with horrible, selfish people. But even the walls of a tower could not contain the hopeful spirit of a princess. Each year on her birthday, the king and queen released thousands of lanterns into the night sky in the hope that one day their lost princess would return. Rapunzel watched and wondered about the floating lights from her tower window and longed to venture into the outside world to see them up close. Then one day, she met someone quite unexpected, someone who could help her realize her dream. And she quickly hit him on the head with a frying pan. Ow! After all, Rapunzel was a bit new at this adventure business. Yeah, Blondie, I don't remember much after the part where you knocked me out with the frying pan. Well, that's what this journal is for. I'll draw everything we see in here so I can remember and think about it later. Okay, fine. So what happened next? After you came in the window, we made a deal. Right. You hid my satchel and said that if I wanted it back, I had to take you to see the lanterns. Well, I had asked Mother, but she said I was never to leave the tower. And Pascal thought I could trust you, so I took a chance. <gasps> oh, this is so amazing! It's better than I ever imagined! How the light hits the trees, the smell of the breeze going by, <gasps> the feel of cold water running over my toes. And so, are we going, Blondie? so guilty about leaving the tower. Yet I'd already seen such amazing things. Still, some things have been scary. <laughs> Not that. Yes, the skunks were a little frightening, but I sketched them anyway. See, this journal is coming in very handy. But still, I'm worried. Mother warned me that the outside world is filled with ruffians and thugs. Oh, so it's probably best if we avoid ruffians and thugs, then. I agree. Luckily, you... Who, me? Yes, you, Flynn Rider, suggested a great place to have lunch. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did that. <clears throat> the Snuggly Duckling sounds like a really cute place. And I do like ducklings. Oh. Well, come on, let's go in. The innkeeper said this was the thieves' highway, didn't he? Oh, I was hoping to avoid ruffians and thugs, and now we're in a dark secret passage used by ruffians and thugs from the entire kingdom. Never say I don't take you nice places, Blondie. Well, I can see now that those men from the Snuggly Duckling aren't really scary villains, like Mother said. They have dreams. Just like me. Yes, but the royal guards are breathing down our necks right now. And trust me, they are scary. And these men, they're pretty scary too. Right, and that horse, Maximus. 
Aw, oh, he's not scary. He's just misunderstood. Gee, we have a lot to deal with. Maybe we should get through these caverns quickly. We almost escaped the caves in the Thieves' Highway, and then we got trapped at a dead end. There was no way out, and the water was rushing in. Lucky for me, I'm traveling with a girl who has magical glowing hair. safe. And we found such a nice little spot to camp for the night. After a day like today, I can't even imagine what tomorrow will bring. <gasps> oh yeah! My birthday! Look! It's our friend Maximus! Oh, come on. Your friend, maybe. He's a bad horse. Bad horse. Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. As soon as I explain that today is kind of the biggest day of my life, and that I need Max to not get you arrested, and that it's my birthday, everything was just fine. But then the Royal Guards showed up. They must have followed us. Luckily, somebody else followed us, too. Uh, Flynn? Are all adventures usually this strange? No, Blondie. I'm starting to think it's got something to do with you. Milton and Maximus flew down that hill, and just when we finally lost those guards, we saw it. <gasps> the kingdom. We were actually here. My heart was going a mile a minute. Is this where the lanterns come from, Flynn? Oh, I am so close to my dream! And I'm so close to getting cut. You have no idea how nervous, mm, I mean dangerous, how dangerous this is for me. Oh, I've got some idea. Hey, listen, I was the one who got you here, remember? I know, and I'm very grateful. It's just, we still have lots to see and do before the lanterns. Yeah, number one on my list, don't get captured. Hey, our lanterns. I'll never forget that night. Meaning... Then I gave you back your satchel. I should have given it to you before, but I was just scared. And the thing is, I wasn't scared anymore. And you understood. Yeah, I did. But I had to go. I didn't understand that. We were having such a wonderful time. Then you left. I know, but there was something I had to take care of, and then I was going to come right back. Mother Gothel found me. And it seemed like she'd been right all along. I couldn't believe it. You took the crown, got a boat, and sailed away from me. Mother said the only place I could be safe was with her. I thought she was right, that I'd never see you again. What was the point of this silly journal anyway? Why would I want to remember? Now hold on just a minute. That's not the whole story. They tricked us both. I never took a boat. I was double-crossed and thrown in jail. Oh, come on. Duh. I'm not half the artist she is. Max saw the whole thing. He knew you were in danger and went to get help. The thugs helped me escape, and thanks to Max, I came to help you. Hold on, Blondie. We're on our way. When I got back to my room, I looked at my paintings. They had new meaning now. Visiting the kingdom changed everything. Finally, I understood. The lanterns that appear only on my birthday? I'm the lost princess. Mother Gothel kidnapped me so she could use my hair. And she'd do anything to keep me with her. And this is where I come in. done it without you. 
Can you imagine finding out your mother and father are the queen and king? I'm still getting used to the idea. And I'm still kind of nervous. But they love me, and they've missed me so much. My parents just decreed a new festival, and now the whole village is celebrating. <sighs> Ooh, yay, Flynn Rider! Oh, and Rapunzel, too! <laughs> What's that? Confetti. From where? I had some left over in my pockets. Flynn! Let's take a ride around the village to celebrate before we decide what to do next. Well, I was thinking, live happily ever after. That sounds all right, but only after I beat you in a race.
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more watch news.